Hello, welcome to April 25 edition of my cooking experience. Today I'm going to do what is a very popular uh, breakfast or a tiffin dish among uh, South Indians. It's called the adai. People in the Telugu speaking areas have a different version of this called the pesarento. But while there it is done with a different kind of a grain pulse, over here it's done with chicken pea and pigeon pea, that is chana dal and tuvar dal. What I've done is, I have soaked for about two hours equal quantities of chana dal or chickpea as it's called and tuvar dal or pigeon pea as it is called soaked it for two hours and drained the water and this is the mixture that I have. I've taken equal quantities of both of them and I've taken the same quantity of wheat rubber. Now wheat rubber I've soaked also in water. It did not require two hours. Half an hour of soaking it in water and draining the water would be enough. Now all this that is equal quantities of tuvardal, chanadal, the wheat flour and red chilies will go into the grinder and get uh, so the soaked material will get ground in the mixi. You will find that I'm going to get out of the mixi two different consistencies of the paste. I will explain the detailing of it later. Obviously because the wheat flour, the wheat uh, grain, uh, wheat rubber is mild in this stage. It's already like a paste. We put only the dals first. Before I put the dals, I take the red chilies for a cup of each of the two dals and an equal quantity of the wheat rubber. I've taken four about 12 red chilies, some curry leaves, I will coarse grind this for a minute. When you find it of this consistency, now add the dals and salt to taste and grind it to two different consistencies depending on what you want to do that I will explain later. Uh, you will now notice that the consistency of the mixture from the mixie are different. This is a little softer paste while this is a very coarse paste that I have. To both of them, I'll now add what is a very important ingredient in the school of cooking, that's hing. To this paste, you can also add a little bit of cooking soda if you want to get a nice soft feel. So we'll start off with one of the two varieties that I'm going to do. Add some oil. I'm first using the thinner version. Take it, spread it in the oil. Like a pancake and not like a dosa. You can also do it like a dosa depending on the consistency that you want. You can make it further thin and make a dosha out of it. Pour some oil. Now in the other format that I'm doing, put this towel on low flame or sim. 
get the oil to the sink. Now in this case, I'm taking it in my hand, parting it literally into the Pour a bit of oil into those little holes. Gently check in the meanwhile whether this is getting being done. Still needs to be done a little over there. So let's wait. This I have tossed it from one side to the other and it's almost done. This requires a little more time. This too I have tossed from one side to the other. You have been watching my uh, cameraman Datu's uh, work for quite a while. Now he's this side of the camera. He is going to do one more version of the same adai. Now I've added further amount of water and liquefied this paste even further. And the third alternative that is going to be made will be made by him. In the meanwhile, this is done and I'm taking it off the pan. So you see what he's doing is he's testing whether it's cooked on one side and whether it will survive a twist and that's exactly what he has done now seeing that it can be twisted and turned to the other side. The final presentation is here. Now the thicker varieties, the one which was done with the coarse uh, paste is what you see here. The one with the much more diluted paste, the one that Datu made, is here. Uh, before I really sign off on this, there are a couple of things I must say. Huge support today from uh, Ritika, my wife, and Datu, who also came on screen today to make this. The entire presentation was done by him. I did nothing. I just walked out and came back. Uh, so try it out. It's a wonderful dish. It's full of protein. It has two different kinds of dal so it's <clears throat> good on the stomach it's also a little bit too heavy so a good meal to have it's uh, one other is a nice square meal to have for a lunch or a dinner also uh, may I request many of you who are watching this to continue watching it please subscribe for it please like it and spread the word and tell other friends to subscribe to it and Give me their comments if they like it. Thank you. Acknowledgements as ever. Ritika, Dattu and uh, Abhinav. See you for a later show on another day. Bye-bye.